Hello, my name is Carsten Foss. I'm an application scientist in BioRads Process Chromatography Group. Today I'd like to talk to you about the development of a CGMP-ready purification processes for adenoviruses. Adenoviruses are rather large entities and they are used uh, for genetic delivery. Adenoviruses can host uh, very large DNA fragments up to uh, 37 KB and in, in this way they are favored for genetic delivery for example in gene therapy. Next to uh, these properties adenoviruses also are quite easy to manufacture so they can be produced to high titers and in addition for the final application they are also capable of infecting both dividing and undividing cells and uh, this with a very strong efficacy. For the development of the purification process for adenoviruses, affinity purification is not an option. It's the same as when you're looking at uh, non-MAP proteins or uh, antibody fragments where you don't have an affinity-based platform. Um, you have the same situation for adenoviruses and in that way, you have to come up with new interaction principles and new chromatographic resins that are capable of uh, having good selectivity in the purification. One resin that we screened in the development of this process is our mixed mold material, Nuvia C prime, which is composed of a hydrophobic group and a cation exchange group, and this resin has been used in the capture process of the adenovirus and outlined in this, chromato, uh, in this poster here you will also see that for subsequent purification we've been applying one of our anion exchangers which is the Nuvia Q, a high capacity resin and this high capacity resin carries surface extender which uh, on that way uh, are modified with a functional group which is a Q ligand and due to the surface extenders, the Q resonance is capable of binding the LOA that is coming from the Nuvia C prime at a higher conductivity. So what you can see here in the picture on the left is the second step of the purification. So the LOA from Nuvia C prime in this process has the sodium chloride concentration of 500 millimolar and and this way only the Nuvia Q was capable of handling that conductivity and binding the virus. In the purification development we could see that Nuvia C prime is in the first way capable of uh, doing a very efficient cleaning of the adenovirus uh, proteins. Secondly the resin is also capable of eluting the uh, target construct from um, a large loading volume which is outlined here in the in the upper part of the figure three on, on the right of the poster uh, to only a tenth of the volume that was applied to the resin so the reduction in volume and the concentration of the sample is very efficient and you can, you can see it also on the timeline here on the second part of the picture. These are the uh, illusion profile that is pooled and finally applied to the next chromatography step. And when you look at the table in uh, the middle of the picture next to the total virus count as um, a value for the product concentration, and when you look at the table here below, uh, you will see that we're analyzing a couple of parameters. We have analyzed the total viral count, which is uh, um, a parameter for the virus concentration in the material. We've been also quantifying residual DNA and host cell protein. And as outlined in the table, Nuvia C prime is, is capable of, of doing a very efficient reduction of these two contaminations in the first place while the subsequent Nuvia Q step is really bringing the DNA levels down uh, below the detection limit and the host cell protein concentration 
to a level that is in compliance with the requirements from federal regulators. To assess the purity, we've been analyzing the virus proteins on an SDS page gel, uh, which is here on the right of the summary of the purification development process. And what you can see is in, in the first lane, of course, the molecular marker uh, to identify the size of the proteins. Then you see in the second lane the material that is loaded onto Nuvia C prime. So you see a major contamination here at around uh, about 50 kilodaltons. And third lane outlines what uh, is uh, in the flow through of the loading step of the Nuvia C prime chromatography. And you can see that this contamination is mainly going through. So in the final elevate that is shown in lane four, you can see that the material is already uh, better purified there. And you can see the different viral proteins in partial. In lane number five, you can see the material that was loading onto the second chromatography step, which is the new VRQ. And six shows what is flowing through. So you can see the majority of the impurities in the flow through. Uh, a couple of proteins are uh, reduced here. And lane seven outlines the excellent purity that is uh, achieved after illusion here. And this is showing the five different viral core proteins in uh, this preparation. Next to a good quality that is achieved by this two-step purification process, again you are capable also of reducing the illusion volume again, which is an additional benefit from the Nuvia Q. I hope I could outline how the mixed mode material, Nuvia C prime, and our high capacity anion exchanger, Nuvia Q, could be applied for adenovirus purification. Thank you.